The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. The winter sports season hasn't even been done a week, and the spring sports season is already here. Baseball, softball, tennis, and track practices have begun with the latter taking center stage today as teams from all over came to Bemidji for the annual Little Amic invite. Start things off in the girls' high jump. Pequot Lakes' Britt Cradiville takes her approach and clears 5 feet 2 inches with ease for the first place finish. Then on to the boys' triple jump. Another Patriot, Reed Pierzynski, and he can fly. Hitting this jump at 45 feet, four and a half inches for a first place finish, but he wouldn't only excel there. 60 meter hurdles, Pierzynski gets out ahead of the pack. A near perfect run, finishing in 8.6 seconds for a first place finish. Nevis's Logan Tennis just behind in second. Then in the girls 60 hurdles, lane three Grand Rapids, Mira Beachley comes out on top in 10.52 seconds. Teammates Emily Sommer and Kaylee Hawking just behind in third and fourth. On to boys shot put, Bertha Hewitt Verndale's Samuel Moore launches his attempt 53 feet, five and a half inches. That's a first place finish by nearly four feet. And then moving on, girls 60 meter dash, Pequot's Chloe Burmel out of the blocks, hot and never looks back. Finishing in 8.1 seconds for the first place finish with Dini Deer Creek's Michaela Malone in fourth. Then in the boys 60 dash, lane three with Dini Deer Creek's Connor Stoyf. Finishing in first in 7.36 seconds, just three hundredths of a second quicker than Grand Forks Central Zane Miller. Here's a look at your boy score. DGF comes out on top. Pequot Lakes in third. Wadena Deer Creek, Bertha Hewitt, Ferndale, Park Rapids area, North Home Kelly, Black Duck, and Bagley Faustin rounding out your top ten there. And then on the girls' side, Grand Forks Central winning it. Pequot Lakes in second. Grand Rapids, Park Rapids area, and Bagley Faustin, they're rounding out the top ten as well. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.